Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Ipson L3215 printer driver in a Windows 7 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy to check it. Go to the computer, right click on the computer, click on the properties. In properties, find system type. If system type is 64 bit, that means that machine is 64 bit operating system machine. If system type is 32 bit, that means that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. This machine is 32 bit operating system machine. Close it. Next step is download the upward printer driver. That is also very easy and simple. Go to the any web browser that you like. I'm going to the Google Chrome and here type Ipson L3215 printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Ipson. Open the first link official website of the Ipson printer. Here we find Ipson official website. Here we find our printer name Ipson L3215. Scroll down and here go to the downloads. Here we find operating system. It's detect your operating system. But in any case, your operating system is not detect, right? Then go to the here Windows and find Windows 7 32 bit if your operating system is 32 bit. If Windows 7 64 bit if your operating system is 64 bit. My operating system is Windows 7 and bit is 32 bit. I select Windows 7 32 bit and here we find go button. Click on the go button. It's refresh our web page and new drivers are available on our this web page. Scroll down. And here we find at last at the bottom, we find drivers, expand drivers, click on this plus button, expand drivers. Here we find two IMP drivers, scanner drivers, and second is the tri printer driver. First, I download the scanner driver. I click on the download. It's redirect you to the another page, click on the accept, and our download is started at here. It's a few seconds, so wait for a few seconds to download to complete. It's not a very large file, it's a small file, and it's take 10 or 15 seconds, wait for 10 or 15 seconds, click on show all, click on show in a folder, minimize it and drag this scanner setup file to desktop, close it. Next step is go to the web browser once again, close it, close this and go to the main web page, scroll down and here we find printer driver. Go to the printer driver and click on the download, click on the accept. Once again, our download is started and it's complete in a few seconds. It's completed now. Go to the show all, show in a folder, minimize it, drag this setup file to desktop, close it. Here is the, our printer setup file and here is the, our scanner setup file. And this printer setup file is actually G file and we are going to unzip or extract this G file. Right click on it, click on the extract files, click on the OK. It's extract our files and create a new folder on our desktop. Double click on it, double click on it, double click on it. Here is the our printer driver. Close it. Next step is download the our install our printer on our PC or laptop. Go to the start and go to the control panel. Click on the control panel. In a control panel, find devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. In a devices and printers at the top, we find add a printer, double click or Click do two times on the add a printer and close this, close this new option is pop up, add a printer. Click on the first option, add a local printer, click on add a local printer. Here we find existing port, click on this existing port and click at here. And if you find any USB port, USB 001, USB 002, USB 003, 004, select any USB port that you find. I find USB 001, select that, click on the next. Click on a have a disk, click on a browse, go to the desktop, double click on newly created folder or extracted folder, unzip folder, double click on it, double click, double click. Here we find three files, click on any file that you want. I select last file, you can select any file, click on open, click on OK. Here we find Ipson L3210 series. It is a series of this printer L3210 and our printer name is L3215. This include in this series printer. And one problem, one triangle, yellow triangle. This driver is not digitally signed. We got one error in next step and we solve that error in the next step. Click on the next. You can give any name that you want. I give Ipson L3215. You, you can give any name that you like. Click on the next. It's installing our printer. It's take few seconds. And here we find one error. Error is 
Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software. This is the error and solution is very simple. Install this software anyway. Click on install this software anyway. Installation once again started and it's that few seconds. Wait for a few seconds. Our printer is properly installed now. If you want to set a default printer then check this. If you want to print a test page then click on print a test page or click on a finish. Next step is install our scanner driver. That is also very simple. Go to the scanner driver. Double click on the scanner driver or right click on it and click on the run as an administrator. Click on run as an administrator. Click on yes. It's unzip files and installation is started. Click on the next. Accept the terms and condition. Click on the next. It's installing our printer. It's take few seconds and one error is also appear in this installation and same error. Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software and click, click on the install this driver software anyway. And our installation once again started, it's take few seconds, wait for a few seconds. Our scanner part is also done, scanner is installed now, click on the finish. Next and last step is check our printer is properly installed or not, go to the start, click on the control panel, click on the devices and printers. In devices and printers, if you find Ipsen L3215, that means your printer is properly installed and it's work 110% on your Windows 7 PC or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys